Hello everyone, Jedi Styles here, and today I am here with some TTMs and a mail day from Panini. So let's just jump right into it. And first one is the dreaded return to sender. It came back in 12 days, and I was really disappointed in this one. This one came back um, unsigned from Mr. Jerry Rice. So. I don't know. I've seen some people get them back. I, I'm pretty sure I used the same address, but um, unfortunately they did not come back signed. It was just a return to sender. Um, it actually said, um, that's the address I used. It said refused. So, I don't know. So, there's one return to sender. Alright, this next one is not a return to sender. Um, I was a little upset about this one. This was a failure. It came back. Everything came back. It was a $5 chart. Well, I, I, I sent $5. It came back in six days. Um, he opened the main envelope and looked in it. And I guess, I, I don't know why he didn't sign. Um, but I have seen he's been doing that lately. Mr. Harold Baines did not sign. He sent the card and the money and the letter back just just like it was I don't I don't know if he looks inside the envelopes and checks to see how much money's in there and if it's not enough he sends it back I'm not sure um, I know he was signing and now he's not signing again <clears throat> I don't know if his price went up he doesn't send anything back so I don't know I've seen some people send ten dollars and I think get the same thing back I thought I'd send five and just give it a shot because I only sent one card but nope came back in six days so uh, that was a little bit of a disappointment too. Um, if he charges any more than 10, then I probably won't send to him again unless he starts signing uh, for less once again. But uh, anyways, there's that. Then we have a success. This was a one of one success in 20 days. This one did cost $5. And this one came back from, let's get that back, came back from Cincinnati, Ohio. And this was a nice one to get back. This came back from Mr. Dave Parker. I sent him this 84 Tops, um, Rediscover Tops that I had pulled recently. So he signed it nice. Nice little autograph in blue, so it looks good on this card. This is the, like I said, the 84 Tops card just stamped rediscover tops on it so that was a nice return thank you mr parker for that so he it's five dollars for his five, i don't know if it's five dollars per card i only sent one so that is mr dave parker so there you go there is my ttm for last week or this week or however whatever day it was all right and now we have a mail day from panini um this is just one card this was a redemption this was pretty nice this one's pretty, it's pretty awesome, actually. This is this uh, Immaculate Collect Collection Prospect Card on Card Auto of Mitch Keller. Number 10 of 20. Sick patch. That's pretty awesome. Um, card's really thick. In other words, it's a thicky. And if some of you know who I'm talking about when they say that, this is definitely a thicky. So look at that, that thing's huge. So, very nice, nice autograph there. So, there is my mail for the week. So, thank you, Mr. Dave Parker. Nice Mitch Keller redemption. And uh, I appreciate all of you guys watching. And if you guys ever need an address, <clears throat> just let me know in the comments. I will give it to you if you need one. So, like I said, um, Harold Baines, not sure if he's signing anymore or if he's just signing for more money. And if anybody knows of a separate Jerry Rice address, please let me know. I would love to get his auto off. So, All right, thank you for watching. Please hit that like, share, subscribe button, leave a comment, and I will see you next time. Have a good day.